Uh, one of the things that I really like about the Google Ajax search APIs is the the availability of the Flash and other non uh, JavaScript environments. Um, when we were building 280 slides, uh, one of the problems we ran into is that the default uh, Google Ajax search API makes you include this script tag into your HTML, which is something that we try to avoid in Cappuccino uh, just because we like to do everything after the fact and it makes it uh, a little bit more complicated for our loading system. Uh, so the, abil the availability of this other API uh, let us construct these searches um, without the need to include the script tag, and also it gave us uh, search results without all of the custom Google stylings that, that by default makes your search results look Google-like. Uh, normally that's, that's pretty good if, if you're looking for something uh, quick and simple, but when you want something uh, that's a much more customized UI like our own, uh, this, this other approach turned out to work very well. It also let us run the searches on the client or the server, which uh, enables us to coalesce a bunch of different APIs, searches on the server, and then send them back to the client uh, in a unified format, which saves us some programming. One of the things that I think could be better in the Ajax APIs uh, is increased access to uh, sort of the metadata about the images that you're getting back or, or the other content. Um, I think that it'd be really great to uh, sort of learn other things about where the images come from, uh, but, but even cooler would be the ability to search for images in new ways. So, for example, allowing searches uh, for images by color, for example, or maybe searching for images that are similar to other images. I think both of those would be really, really cool ways to add new search functionality to, uh, to your application.